Welcome, everyone, to this in-depth two-volume video tutorial. Today, we're going to take you on a journey through the entire process of setting up a web server on Alma Linux 9.2, and the best part is, you can do it all without ever leaving your chair. Our professional setup involves using a VirtualBox virtual machine running on the Windows 11 operating system. We've streamlined the installation process to make it as convenient as possible for you, so you can follow along with ease. Whether you're a seasoned IT professional or someone just starting out on their web hosting journey, this tutorial is designed to provide you with a comprehensive guide to get your web server up and running smoothly. So, grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable in your chair, and let's dive into the world of Alma Linux web hosting. In Volume 1, we'll tackle the installation and setup of Alma Linux 9.2 as a virtual machine. We'll guide you through every step, from configuring the OS to using VNC for GUI access during installation. We'll even address some common challenges you might face along the way. Then, in Volume 2, we'll shift our focus to configuring Alma Linux 9.2 as a fully functional web server. We'll install the necessary software, set up secure remote access, and fine-tune the server for optimal performance. So, whether you're setting up a web server for personal projects or professional use, we've got you covered. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have the knowledge and confidence to create a fully secured web server that's ready to host your website. So, let's get started with this exciting journey, all from the comfort of your chair. Okay, now let's get into the nitty-gritty of our installation process. You might be wondering why we're intentionally limiting the video memory and using the wrong type of graphics controller for our VirtualBox setup. Well, it's a deliberate move on our part. By doing this, we're ensuring that the Alma Linux installation process doesn't smoothly transition to the graphical user interface GUI, during setup. Instead, it's going to force us into text mode, and that's exactly what we want. You see, in a professional setup, sometimes you encounter hardware limitations, and you have to rely on text mode for the initial stages. And this is where we're going to introduce VNC into the equation. VNC, or Virtual Network Computing, is a powerful tool that allows us to access and control our Alma Linux installation remotely. However, for this to work, we need to be in text mode. So, we've set up the initial VirtualBox environment in a way that compels it to stay in text mode and provides us with the VNC installation option. This may sound a bit tricky, especially if you're new to this, but don't worry, we'll walk you through it step by step. Once we've got the text mode set up and VNC ready to go, the rest of the installation process becomes a breeze. It's a bit of a workaround, but it's a valuable skill to have, especially in professional setups where flexibility is key. So, keep watching as we guide you through this process, and if you encounter any hiccups, remember to pause the video and follow the steps at your own pace. We're here to help you every step of the way. Now, in the section on port forwarding, we're going to extend the default port for VNC service. By default, VNC uses port 5901. We're going to forward this port to port 55901 on the host machine. This is the port where you'll connect your VNC viewer during the installation process. It's an essential step that allows us to establish a remote connection to our Alma Linux virtual machine, giving us the ability to interact with the setup in text mode. So, remember, port 5901 on our virtual machine is being redirected to port 55901 on our host machine, enabling us to manage the installation seamlessly. It might sound a bit technical, but we'll guide you through this process step by step. Stay with us as we make sure everything is set up correctly for a smooth installation experience. You see, during the installation process, the graphical interface, X, fails to come up as we've intentionally limited the video memory. But that's exactly what we want, because now we have some options. 
When prompted, select option 1 for VNC. Now, it's going to ask you for a password. Go ahead and enter a 6 character password. Remember, you'll need this password later, so make sure to keep it handy. Now, you need to run either Real VNC Viewer or Ultra VNC Viewer on your Windows host machine. In the viewer, set the address to 127.0.0.1:55901 and press enter. Then, click continue. When prompted, provide the password you set for VNC earlier. After entering the password, click OK. Voila! You'll find yourself with the Alma Linux GUI for installation right in front of you. From here on, it's smooth sailing. Just select the appropriate options, follow the on-screen instructions, and enjoy the installation process. If you like, it's the perfect time to take a tea break. You've earned it. Type your name and set a password for your account. Take a break of 10 to 15 minutes. Type your login and password. Next, use the DNF tool to update the entire system. This process might take another 10 to 15 minutes, but once it's completed, you'll have a fully updated system. After that, go ahead and shut down the system for reconfiguration. Now, for SSH, we're going to forward port number 22 to port 63022. This means that using these two ports, you can both access the virtual machine graphically and use SSH for remote operation without directly interacting with the machine. With SSH tunneling in place, you now have the capability to operate your virtual machine from anywhere in the world, all without having to leave your chair. In the video description, you'll find links to additional resources on SSH tunneling and VNC to help you get the most out of your setup. We've made some important changes to our VM setup. We've corrected the video memory and graphics controller selections. As a result, your VM setup is now free from any invalid settings. This ensures a smoother and more effective installation process, allowing you to proceed with confidence. Thank you for joining us on this journey in Volume 1 of our Alma Linux installation series. We hope you found it both informative and enjoyable. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting tech tutorials, just like this one. Now, in Volume 2, configuring Alma Linux 9.2 VM as a web server, we'll delve into the exciting world of web hosting. We'll install a range of essential software, including the powerful Apache web server, OpenSSH for remote access, Fail 2 Band for enhanced SSH security, the Intuitive Cockpit for server monitoring, MariaDB for robust database services, PHP for scripting, and more. We'll utilize tools like PuTTY for SSH access and RealVNC for seamless VNC services, connecting our Alma Linux guest VM from the Windows host. Additionally, we'll explore SSH tunneling, allowing you to manage your server remotely from anywhere in the world, without ever leaving your chair. Throughout this series, you'll uncover a treasure chest of invaluable tips and insights that will guide you in creating a fully secure web server. It's a journey that may have its challenges, but rest assured, it will leave you not just satisfied, but extremely pleased with the results. So, stay tuned for Volume 2, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you found our content helpful. Thank you once again for being part of our tech community, and we look forward to seeing you in the next volume.